What's up guys, Bones88 here, and a couple days ago we got a brand new character called Godfrey. Um, he's a legendary, and he looks pretty decent. Um, it's just a short video, we're going to go over his kit, I'm just going to tell you what I think, and that's about it. So let's get right into him. So with Godfrey's trait, he deals 80% damage to the enemy recipient of a positive effect with a 50% chance of extending the cooldown on the target's ultimate ability by one turn. The cooldown is a is one round. Okay, there's a lot there. He's dealing damage to the enemy recipient of a positive effect. So I, they don't do a very good job explaining their kits. Does that mean every time an enemy gets a positive effect, there's damage being dealt? Is it one one time? I guess he does it once per round. What happens when more more than one enemy gets it? Does is it an AOE? I'm very confused on that. If you guys know. Let me know down below because I'm kind of confused on it. Either way, it sounds awesome. Uh, on on paper, it sounds awesome. I don't know how it is in real life. But that's not it. On top of that, with an ascension, there's a 100% chance, which it's guaranteed, of extending the cooldown also of that same target. So I'm guessing it's just one person. Um, but that's pretty insane. You can do it once a round? That means he, the longer he's alive, the more he's extending cooldowns and doing damage just his trade alone is very interesting i don't know how it works on the battlefield but if you guys have tested him out already let me know below what you think about him and how that kind of works it's a little confusing sounds awesome i'm all that's one of the coolest traits in the game so his basic is dealing damage to one enemy and applies defensive down for two turns um i was watching zary's video and he's right like the most basic of basics in the game is putting defense down. You know what I mean? Everyone does that. Um, it would have been a little bit cooler to see something uh, a little bit more unique. But defensive down is good, right? I can't complain about that. So his special deals 100% damage to one enemy and applies unhealable for two turns. Unhealable is a crazy good debuff. Um, I can't explain to you actually how helpful that is. So that's really good. It's simple, but that's very good. It's a good debuff to put out. With his ultimate, he deals 120% damage to an enemy and randomly transfers one positive effect from the target to all team members. Removes all positive effects on the target. So this guy is a support character. I mean, he's still doing some damage, don't get me wrong. But, you know, he's a damage dealing support character. And so, yeah, he's doing damage to one person and he's taking a positive effect from them and putting it all on your team. That's pretty cool. This guy seems pretty awesome. Um, I saw that Zeri pulled him, so I'm excited to see what he finds out in his testing. So I'm, I'm, in, I'm interested. I think he looks awesome. He looks fun. He reminds me of the uh, owl from Dragon Champions, not kit wise, but look wise. Um, he's got some angry birds up on his on his back there, so that's pretty cool. So I'm, I think he's awesome. I'm pretty excited. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think, and uh, are you excited about pulling him? Oh, uh, one other thing, there is a pull event for him. Now this is. People are getting confused. There's like a 300% chance to pull him, right? But there's a caveat to that. It's still the same drop rate as a legendary, okay? You don't have a better chance of pulling him legendary-wise, but when you pull a legendary, you have a 300% chance of pulling him. So whenever you do end up pulling a legendary, it's more likely for it to be Godfrey. That's what it is. You're not more likely to pull a legendary, you're more likely to pull him when you get a legendary. So I wanted to clear that up also because um, it's kind of confusing how they word it. And Ray does the same thing. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I love you all dearly. Thank you all for the support. The channel is growing more and more and more. 70% um, of you guys are not subscribers. Um, if you like my content, there's always consistent stuff coming in every week. I do streams on Twitch, all that good stuff. If you don't mind, hit a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time, all right? See you guys. Peace.